All right, welcome back to Protein Function in Biochemistry. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. In the previous video, we went over this first practice problem. If you want to see how this is done, go back and watch that. Suffice it to say, in one of the other videos, we derived this formula, which says that theta, which is the percentage of all available protein binding sites occupied by the ligand, is equal to the ligand concentration divided by the sum of the ligand concentration and the dissociation constant. And what we did in the last video is we knew the ligand concentration and theta, we determined KD. Now what we're going to do is we know the KD, we know theta, and we want to determine the ligand concentration. All right, so that's what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and rewrite this formula. Theta is equal to the concentration of L divided by the concentration of L plus the dissociation constant. And I want to solve for, the dis I want to solve for L. What I'm going to do is multiply both sides by the denominator here. So what I get is theta times concentration of L plus KD is equal to the concentration of L. All right. And what I'm going to do now is foil, in other words, distribute, not really foil, but distribute this theta to L, and then I'm going to distribute theta to KD, and so multiply everything out basically. So what I'm going to get is theta times the concentration of L plus theta times the KD is equal to the concentration of L. Now one thing that's important here is remember L is a variable. So if there's no coefficient out in front of it, you assume the coefficient is just one. That's actually going to be important in just a minute. All right, now what I want to do is I'm going to actually, let's do this. I'm going to subtract theta L over to the other side. So that cancels this right there. Ultimately, what I'm left with there is theta times KD is equal to concentration of L. And notice that both of these terms, 1 and theta, have L. So I factor out the L, and I have 1 minus theta. Okay, 1 minus theta. Notice then what I can do to isolate the ligand concentration is divide both sides by 1 minus theta. And that cancels this over there. And ultimately what I'm left with is the ligand concentration that I want is theta times the dissociation constant divided by 1 minus theta. All right, so all of these things I actually do know. All right. Let's figure this out. So our theta is 60%. So theta is equal to 60%, but when I do this kind of problem, I put it in decimal, so it's 0.6. So theta is 0.6. I have this KD given in millimolar. It's a decimal, so maybe what I'd like to do is convert it to a different unit. So let's say if I move the decimal point over 1, 2, 3, that's going to be 4 micromolar. So now I'm going to have 0.6 times... 4 micromolar, and I'm going to divide all this by 1 minus theta, which is 0.6. If you want to clean this up just a little bit, that's going to be equal to 0.6 times 4 micromolar divided by, what's 1 minus 0.6? That's 0.4. And now let me go ahead and determine that concentration. It's going to be in units of micromolar. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to take 4 times 0.6 divided by 0.4, and the ligand concentration that will yield 60% of binding sites occupied with this KD, the ligand concentration is exactly 6 micromolar. And that is, that is your answer right there. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. That gives you ultimately here two problems for ultimately determining um, things in this expression that we have above. The reason I didn't do one for solving for theta is it's sort of a little bit trivial. You would know the ligand concentration in KD. You just plug things in. I purposely wanted to give you two examples where you had to rearrange these equations a little bit. But hopefully this made sense. Um, and in the next video, we're going to go over something that's a little bit different, and it's actually called a hill plot. And that's actually for determining something called cooperativity, but it's going to use a, an equation that's actually very similar to this. But it's actually going to have some exponential terms. All right, so make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.